and um, Dylan Thomas wrote it when he was 18, and he hadn't yet left for London. It was five months before he would leave, and it, um, it's sort of a poem about wanting to leave, but also being afraid to leave your hometown. And I was about the same age when I left, so it's always been a special poem for me. I have longed to move away. I have longed to move away from the hissing of the spent lie and the old terror's continual cry growing more terrible as the day goes over the hill into the deep sea. I have longed to move away from the repetition of salutes for there are ghosts in the air and ghostly echoes on paper and the thunder of calls and notes. I have longed to move away but I'm afraid some life yet unspent might explode out of the old lie burning on the ground and crackling into the air leave me half blind. Neither by night's ancient fear, the parting of hat from hair, pursed lips at the receiver, shall I fall to death's feather. By these I would not care to die, half convention and half lie. And this next poem, which I was going to choose, but um, our colleague Natalie, who had to leave, was going to read this. So I feel like I should read this poem for Nat. Um, this is called Love in the Asylum. A stranger has come to share my room in the house, not right in the head. A girl mad as birds bolting the night of the door with her arm, her plume, straight in the mazed bed. She deludes the heaven-proof house with entering clouds, yet she deludes with walking the nightmarish room at large as the dead, or rides the imagined oceans of the male wards. She has come possessed who admits the delusive light through the bouncing wall, possessed by the skies. She sleeps in the narrow trough, yet she walks the dust, yet raves at her will on the madhouse boards worn thin by my walking tears. And taken by light in her arms at long and dear last, I may, without fail, suffer the first vision that set fire to the stars.